Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk a bit about atomic structure and some of the key terms that you're going to need to use when thinking about atomic structure. So in this first slide I've just put a glossary of some of the key terms that you'll come across or deal with. So if you want to take notes or spend longer looking at these, I suggest you pause this video now because I'm going to go straight onto the next section rather than just read off the slide. Okay. So the first item I'm going to look at is describing the structure of a carbon atom. So the first thing to do is let's draw out the nuclear structure on the right hand side. So obviously you've got the, the atomic symbol there, the nucleon number for carbon is 12, and the proton number is 6. You can just read those straight off the periodic table. So in terms of the structure, that means you have 6 protons in the nucleus and you've got 12 minus 6 equals 6 neutrons and if it's the atom which it says it's carbon atom that must mean it has 6 electrons because the electrons in an atom must balance the protons if it was an ion they don't have to but if it's an atom they do so in terms of the structure of it you've got um, Think about our nucleus, so you have 6n6p, and then think about the orbitals around it. On the first subshell, you're going to have two electrons, and then on the second one out, you're going to have we're going to have four left over, so three. If you want to know a bit more about subshells, I'm going to make another video about the Pauli exclusion and principle and Hund's rule and how that actually applies to atomic structure. But that's going a bit beyond the course, so feel free to watch that if you wish. Okay, so that's the structure of a carbon atom. And so the key things to draw your attention to, we've got this nuclide notation, which is this one you can see at the top. And obviously it's summarized in general over here on the left hand side. And we've got a description of the key particles that make up a carbon atom. Okay, let's move on. So this question is asking you to calculate the specific charge of a lithium 1 plus ion. And remember, specific charge is the total charge over the total mass. Okay, so first thing to work out with the lithium ion, let's draw the nucleide notation. So you will get it at 7, 3, and it's obviously Li. So in terms of things that, that we've got the charge here, so it's a 1 plus ion. So we need to convert that into actual charge, because obviously it's lost one electron, so we need to take off the charge of it. So you have 1 times by the charge of 1, so that's going to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, that's your unit of charge, so that's your total charge, and obviously it's a plus in this case. And our total mass, so we've got 3 protons, and also for neutrons, and in this course we'll use, we use the same mass, although a neutron is very, very slightly more heavy, I think. We, in the course, use just the 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. And don't forget to include the mass of the electrons. So it's a plus 1, so you've got 6 times 9.11 times 10 to the power of minus. 31. And if you plug all those numbers in, you should come out with an answer of 1.4 times 10 to the 7 units of coulombs per kilogram. Now, in these questions, be very careful whether it tells you it's an ion, whether it tells you it's an atom, or if it tells you that it's a nucleus, because obviously 
if it's a nucleus you can have a much bigger charge on the top line and obviously you won't include the electrons on the bottom. If it's an atom it's always going to be zero because atoms have zero charge. And obviously it's an, if it's an ion it's going to look very similar to this calculation we've done here. Okay.